Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you how well the AMD FX ED350 Vichera CPU actually performs when overclocked. At stock this processor is clocked at 4.0 GHz, but I took it 800 MHz further, so I'm talking of 4.8 GHz, and that's nothing extreme actually. You could call it a wise overclock. When you're overclocking, you want to make sure the voltage isn't set too high and always keep an eye out for the temperature on full load. This AMD FX ED350 processor was very very easy and fast to overclock. As you can see here, in CPU-Z I left cooling quite enabled in the BIOS. That way the processor doesn't consume as much power on idle and that's done by lowering the clock speed automatically. On full load, the frequency of course goes all the way up to 4.8 GHz. The FX8350 has a fully unlocked multiplier and that's all I did basically to overclock the CPU. Just increase the multiplier and then the voltage. Most of the time on 100% load, the core voltage is at 1.464 volts. As for the motherboard, I'm using the Asus Sabertooth 990FX R2 Pro board with the latest BIOS version at the time of this video. For the memory, I got 8GB of DDR3 1866MHz RAM installed. Before we move on to the benchmark results, I'd like to apologize for not including the stock versus overclock comparisons and lots of game charts. I simply ran out of time. I'm sorry. Here are the benchmarks. There you go. As you saw yourself, you get a decent boost in performance when the chip is overclocked compared to the stock results. The overclocked FX8350 definitely beats the Intel Core i5 3570K. But these are no news since the 8350 at stock speeds pretty much beats the i5 anyways. But still, not even an overclocked FX8350 is reaching the Core i7 3770K running at stock speeds. What I did was overclocked wisely. I'm sure I could have gone even further, pushing this chip to 5GHz on air, but I didn't want to do that. Still on 4.8GHz the FX beats the i7 processor in a single test and that is Cinebench. However, when it comes to the memory bandwidth, latency, PI calculations and so on, overclocking this chip still doesn't make it better compared to the competition in these aspects. The performance in gaming is very good, although the i7 beats everything. But these are just some FPS you wouldn't really notice. Depending on the game, it is possible to beat Intel CPUs. But besides performance, temperatures are very interesting as well. As you saw yourself, these were ultra low. 
that's pretty much a dream. With the Cooler Master V6GT aftermarket CPU cooler, I only reached up to 53 degrees Celsius on full load. That's insane in a good way. Unfortunately, the power consumption always seems to be the only real problem when it comes to these FX processors. When overclocked to 4.8 GHz, this CPU consumes roughly 33% more power than on stock speeds. In another way, the 4.8 GHz overclock draws 126% more power than the Intel Core i7 3770K, which offers more performance. Now, if it's worth it to go with an overclocked FX ED350 over an i5 in terms of power consumption is your choice. All I can say is, you get roughly 17% more performance when overclocking the CPU, the power consumption however increases by 33%. So AMD's Vishera processors are more efficient than the previous Bulldozer FX processors, but the power consumption still can be considered as fairly high. In the end, it's really your choice, but I really hope my video could help you with that choice. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.